Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Doris Etito. In this video, I will show you how to sharpen grindstone with sand and bitter leaf for the first time before you use your grindstone. So here is our grinding stone. The grinding stone is newly bought. The grinding stone has not been used at all. I just bought it. So I'm going to sharpen it so that when I am grinding, it will grind faster and smoother. So we need two items or three or more items to sharpen our grinding stone depending on your choice. So I'm using three items to sharpen this grinding stone. So the very first item I'm going to use to sharpen this grinding stone is sand you can use sharp sand and the next item is bitter leaf and also the third item is water of course we need plenty of water some people use bottle to sharpen their, their grinding stone let me know in the comment section if you know how to use bottle to sharpen your grinding stone or if you've heard of using bottle to sharpen your grinding stone so what i'm doing now i'm pouring the sand into the grinding stone okay so um, immediately I pour the sand into the grinding stone, I will go ahead to start grinding. I will just keep on grinding as if I'm grinding something like maybe I'm grinding tomato, I'm grinding pepper. Guys, did you know that most people don't use grinding stone to grind their pepper, their tomato, their beans and all of that because of um, the convenience of using blender and other food processor yes it's very convenient to use your uh what is it called now your blender and other food processor but trust me guys there is a big difference in taste when you use grinding stone compared to when you use blender or food processor okay so i'm still grinding what i did now is to add water to the sand to make it moist and also to ease the grinding like i was saying guys did you also know that when you eat pounded yam and when you eat pounded yam there is difference in taste and texture you can say it is the same thing but guys trust me there is a huge difference so i just finished grinding the sand and i've poured water over the grinding stone to wash off the sand i'm also going to repeat the process by repeating the process i'm going to pour in another batch of sand into the grinding stone add some water and keep grinding guys if you notice the granite made with the grinding stone is looking sharpened already so i'm pouring in another batch of sand i'm going to top up with some water to make it moist and then i keep on grinding i just keep on grinding guys this is a very good exercise if you want to exercise your arms oh you will love it <laughs> so i keep on doing this until i feel it's okay you can just keep on grinding for let's say five minutes yeah or less keep on grinding and then when i'm done i'm going to wash off with water again so what i'm doing now i'm i'm making sure that the edges is well sharpened guys we are not playing here what we are doing we are sharpening the the stone okay because this grinding stone is made with granite i think um cement and some other stuff that i am not so sure of but i know there is granite in it and it is the granite we are sharpening okay so what i'm doing now i'm going to, i'm washing off the sand again with plenty amount of water you can do this step up to three times that's washing with sand up to three times okay you can see the, the granite is looking smooth I actually wash up to three times but I don't want to bore you with the process so what I'm doing now I'm going in with the bitter leaf mm. you have to keep on grinding again grind 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 <laughs> All right, so just keep on grinding the bitter leaf until it is very smooth. So once I'm done with grinding with the bitter leaf, as in the bitter leaf is smooth, I'm going to pour in more water to wash away the bitter leaf. After washing with the bitter leaf, I noticed that the grinding stone became green, as it has green 
um, stain on it so I'm just trying to wash off the green coloration on the grinding stone okay so i just poured in a little amount of sand and i'm just going round 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 about it to remove those green coloration i don't know maybe i should have started with the bitter leaf and then the sand okay so i don't have that green coloration on the grinding stone i don't know but here yeah, i just don't like the green coloration so i'm just going in with the sand again to try to remove as much green coloration on the grinding stone but trust me guys the grinding stone is sharpened at this point it is sharpened already so once i'm satisfied with the removal of the green coloration on the grinding stone i'm going to wash off with water again after washing off the sand i'm going in with some liquid washing soap and a sponge guys i'm trying to remove extra green coloration from the bitter leaf and as well as removing sand from the grinding stone guys you know we have been working with sand we need to make sure that our grinding stone is clean without sand any particle of sand because we don't want to be grinding our tomato and we have sand in our food so i'm making sure that there is no sand no no particle of sand in the grinding stone so once i'm done with washing with the liquid soap and the sponge i'm going to pour in enough water to rinse the grinding stone and guys look at the grinding stone look at it from beginning and look at it now it is well sharpened and it's ready for use thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share leave comment subscribe goodbye